wish you all a very 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 happy Diwali and I hope you have a wonderful year ahead. So I have been watching Sex and the City for a while now and at times I swear to God I feel like hitting Carrie Bradshaw in her face. Like she gets so annoying and she being the lead character in the show it is assumed that she is like this perfect woman girl who you know who who is who is just flawless in all her activities but at times honestly she is just plain annoying and i am going to list down why i don't like Kelly Bradshaw the very first reason and the most most important reason why i don't like her is when she gets that patrick guy who is a uh, alcoholic to date her so when you know when um, so you know when Patrick tells her that he is an alcoholic and he is into therapy and that he can't date her right now, she kind of like insists that they go out. Uh, well, okay, they go out, and uh, after that she breaks up with him. When you know that someone is in a therapy and when you break up with them, it is obvious that they will have some kind of a reaction. And when that reaction is comes out. The least you can do is be considerate towards that person and help the person. So when Patrick comes below her building um, and you know tells her to come downstairs and she just doesn't come down, she just goes back to sleep. And that is so inhuman. It is you who, who nagged him into dating you and when he does date you, you dump him. And Bichara when he is not able to cope up with that, when he goes back into alcohol because you dumped him. You can't even take like care of him for a while. Like, how inhuman can you be? The second reason why I hate her is because she gets pissed at Aiden for buying her a new laptop. Like, girl, it was your issue that you didn't back up your stuff. It is your issue that the laptop died. It's a, it is a laptop. It is supposed to die after a while. It will stop working. So when Aiden buys you anything, at least appreciate and even if you don't want the laptop fine if you, if you don't want it you don't want it you'll buy your own laptop but if you don't want it at least just put him down easy you can't be so rude to him for just wanting to help you out and she is one of those i love new york people i mean great you love your city i love the city i live in but uh don't make it sound like you know people living in other cities and countries are lame. It's not like you are the only person living in the most happening city. I mean, yes, New York is great and everything, but at least don't look down on others. So when Miranda moves to the suburb, she makes her feel bad. When she goes out to the countryside with Aiden, she just freaks out. It's like it is as if she's never seen a countryside before. And even if you haven't, at least be nice to the person, at least try to live in that space. Don't go there with an attitude and don't go there thinking, you know, this is something that I'm not going to enjoy. Again, she was pissed with Aiden because he wanted her to pay for her apartment. So um, Aiden buys the apartment for her because she doesn't have enough finances to do so. And when they break up, Aiden gives her, uh, an, I think, a one month notice that you either vacate the house or you pay him how much ever he paid. And that for me makes a fair deal, like you are no more together, so you might as well not live in a house which he paid for, which he bought for you. And uh, well again she just goes on a fit and she, she gets pissed at Aiden and she gets annoyed and she wants to behave like she is the victim. But again you are not the victim, he asked you to marry him, you agreed to marry him, you agreed to stay with him. You agreed to move in, you, uh, you let him buy you an apartment and when things don't fall in places, you want him to pay for everything and not ask it back. That is just ridiculous. And then again, when she didn't have enough finances to pay Aiden, she expected Charlotte to pay for her house. Again, she needs to understand that people are not going to pay for her all the time. It's not like one drink that they are buying for you. It's a whole bloody apartment and you can't expect your friends to buy you apartments all the time. So when Charlotte didn't pay for her, she got super annoyed. I mean, why did you even expect her to pay in the first place? Also, she sold Charlotte's ring to pay for her apartment. Well, you had tons of shoes, desired.
designer shoes, designer clothes, couldn't you part with some of them, you know, sell it on like um, online or on Amazon, eBay and at least gather some money out of it? You wanted to keep all your booty and still have the house you wanted. That is just selfish. Speaking of selfish, Kelly gets annoyed at Natasha for avoiding her in the restaurant. Um, you kind of broke her marriage. No, you didn't. It's not kind of. You did break her marriage. Uh, you had an affair with Big when he was married to Natasha, and you were in a serious relationship with Aiden. And because of you, they are getting a divorce. What did you expect Natasha should do? She should come to you and hug you and say hi. I mean, come on. At least you broke her house. You can't play the victim here. You are the cause of breaking someone's marriage. You can't play the victim card here. Then you remember the whole bungalow age situation when she goes there with a gay guy and he doesn't give her much attention. So she just walks out of the place. Now the thing is, if you go with a friend to a place, you're obviously going to socialize with other people. Obviously he's going to try and meet other gay people for himself. So, uh, just because he didn't pay attention to you or just because he didn't, you know, roam around you all the time doesn't mean you walk out on him. That's called being a friend. That's called going to a place, going to a party, going to a social event. And socializing, it's a different thing if you are with a guy on a date or, you know, you're romantically involved with that guy and then he doesn't give you attention. But this was a friend for God's sake and you can't throw your tantrums there. And then she calls Natasha an idiot because she doesn't know the difference between there and there. Well, Carrie, you couldn't tell how much is 400 into 100 and you thought you have shoes worth 4,000 rupees when in reality you had shoes for 40,000 rupees. And you didn't know what docent means. So when Charlotte says she, she is a docent in her art gallery, you didn't know what docent is. You, should, you said, what is docent? I could do docent. So well, these are the reasons why I don't like Gary Bradshaw. If you could relate to it, then please share this video, like this video, uh, let me know in the comments box below. Also, if there are more reasons that you would like to add to the list, then please let me know in the comments below. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!